Very good. Zoom is recording. Zoom is with us. Yeah. So yeah, Zoom telling me you're going to record. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So um, you're calling us from Paris? Exactly. Calling from Paris. Yeah. Okay, you are great. in LA, no? <laughs> I mean, we have a big difference in the sunshine, in the time, in everything. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So today we're going to talk about a couple crazy things that happened to you and the work we did together. But maybe I would like to start with, um, well, maybe I would like to start how I usually don't start. Please first tell us about this crazy project where you booked the lead role that was meant to be for a man. Tell us how that went. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a huge thing. Um, so uh, it started like um, somebody, uh, a coach, uh, an English coach, a uh, coach, sorry, uh, give my name for a casting. And uh, and uh, this this coach, I haven't seen him like four years. And um, one night I received a call and he said, okay, I have a casting for you. Or I see you real, whatever. I want to see you. And I was okay. So they give me the text and um, uh, and I passed uh, first for the, um, a female role. Um, called Sam and um, and I passed the casting so there are a different tour uh, I passed the first tour and after they called me back and I say you want to call back so I passed the second one and um, and after a few weeks later they call me and I say okay you know okay Joanna it was between you and the other girl but unfortunately it's not you but uh, was a great job um, blah 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 we want to we will probably work together um on our other project and I was like okay I do my best I didn't do I can do more like uh, really I think it was one of the best uh, casting I did with all the exercise uh, I work on um, with together and um, all the tools I had to 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 do it and um, I think a few days later, I received a call and <laughs> and they, they so the, the filmmaker, he told me like, okay, um, because we did the casting and it was like to a girl and a guy and it was a road trailer movie. And uh, so with a love story, whatever. And they told me like, okay, do you want to play Kyle? Do you want to play? And I was like, you mean Sam? Say no, Kyle. I was like, what? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, um, he, he say he told me after. So we discussed about it. I'm. Uh, I was like, okay. Um, let me thought about it. It was so huge. I didn't. I didn't realize it was possible. You know, I was like, wow, I have a mindset for a girl. And uh, I even thought to, it can be possible to have the, the other role. And he told me after, um, yeah, because when you arrive on a casting on the first day, so first run, they are the girl, but <laughs> it was you, it was like this. And it was, the role was not you. But it, it was so huge. You but did. You were great. Yeah. Yeah. It was so. You know. He told me it was so amazing, and he told me after. I don't know what you are, but we have to do something with you. And uh, you no, know, it gives me chills because um, because I I keep telling actors who are struggling to get work in the industry, and they say it's so hard, and this industry is so competitive, and maybe I don't have the credits or I don't have the reel and I don't have the agent or my agent is not doing things right. And I am not booking auditions. And I'm like, none of that matters. None of that matters. If you, your instrument is free and open, you're so incredible in an audition room or on a tape, they will want to work with you. I, I'm hearing stories like you, like they change the gender. It's not the first time I'm hearing that story. Mm -hmm. 
uh, but you, for you, it's the lead role. So that's even a bigger change. I've, I had heard already for an important role, but you like the real, the, the lead role changes gender. That's amazing. I've heard changing color. I've heard adding lines. I've heard character was supposed to die at the end of the season. They're not killing the character because they <laughs> want to keep me because they love me too much. What is possible when you are free and open and purposeful is unimaginable. Like you said, you didn't even know it was possible because we only know the industry to be a difficult thing where you have to work hard and do this and do that. No, when you're incredible, people will want to work with you. They will do the impossible to work with you. And that's amazing. Yeah, every time I thought about that, I'm like, wow. It's just yeah. like, it's crazy. And and, I, and it, the thing is like, uh, I remember two things. And uh, the first one uh, on the way to the casting, I did one of the exercises. Uh, we work on the reset and purpose group. And it's so funny because so the exercise is the breast work. And I was on the street and I did the breast work. So it's kind of like <laughs> gasking work. And um, I remember a, a, a woman just stop and she she was like are you right are you right and I was like yeah yeah it's okay and <laughs> I just saw an exercise and it was so funny because I I was just in my bubble um and um and it was fun to experience that and the second one is like uh, after the callback and I know because there are a lot of discussion about this role. And I know um, one of the filmmakers, they told me like, okay, can you do this again and again uh, with a tape? Or can, can, you, can, can we, ah, sorry for my English. Can we see that um, more this way? And I remember, I think maybe after sending a lot of tapes and uh, the first round was physical and after it was taped, because their work also with um, LA, so there was like discussion. And uh, I remember, I think maybe uh, at the end, after to send all my best work and I really work hard on, hard on it, I was like, okay, I told him if I can, I can do 10 tapes, but if it's not me, it's not me, it's okay. I just like, you know, like I can do, because if you're looking for something, uh, I can, uh, if you have something in mind, I can't give it to you because it's so different um, than you're looking for. I, I send you the best. So mm -hmm. I, I will not do it another one because it will be a different thing, but it's not for you looking for. So, and I was very happy to, to be, I think, brave and uh, enough happy about my work to yeah. say it's okay and I feel free. It's a, yeah, it's a very different because usually actors will go to an audition or will do their tapes and kind of fear that they won't be loved enough or really want to please or hoping that they get it right, will do anything to do what they want. But the thing is that when you do that, you're really giving away your presence, you're giving away your uniqueness. And when you're really you know, reset to be yourself and to you're comfortable with being you, you don't care about what they think because you know you did the, the best you could possibly do with who you are and it fulfills you. And it, at the end, it doesn't matter whether they like it or not because you know that is like the nectar of who you are and everything else will be fake and will have nothing to do with you. So, but when you have that energy, People, it's very different than the desperation of, you know, all the actors going, oh, I hope they like me. I hope they like what I do. I hope they book me. It's a very different energy, which is like, this is who I am. I'm an artist. You don't like it. Don't take me. It's very attractive. Yeah. It's very attractive. And it's only attractive when it's true for you, when yeah. you really, really like what you've got, because this is who you are. So that's really incredible. How are you feeling before resetting yourself, before doing this work together, what would have, how were you approaching an audition or an important audition? How different were you? Um, so I think I work uh, in different way, uh, but um, the last things I did uh, do before uh, we worked together, it was like kind of a method uh, to work with um, 
looking for character. So I have like a few questions and yeah. working on the character. And more mental. Yeah. Kind it's of really mental. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and so how were you feeling when you were approaching the work that way? What was your experience? With mental or a mental way? Yeah. Um, I think it's like... it. Sometimes it it works and sometimes it don't it doesn't. So reliable. It, yeah, it's like a variable, and sometimes you can feel very bad because you go on a casting and you prepare so well in a way, mm -hmm. and after you came and you know it's gonna be different because the casting director asked you something else. But after mm -hmm. you feel so frustrated, frustrated because after it was like yeah, but I did it this way and I see it, it doesn't like it. And after I did on this way, but because you work so hard before or in one direction, yeah, yeah, you want to you want to show you want to show that. So, and it's more frustrated. It's more, um, yeah, I yeah. After a casting, I was like, if it's work well, I was happy. But if not, mm -hmm. I was like sad and and happy and frustrated. Yeah. So in a way, before resetting yourself to be free, you were your approach was cerebral, controlled. You knew what you were going to do, but you it wasn't about you so much as how to do the scene. And then you didn't know if it was going to work or not. So you could experience frustration. And now your approach is more like, well, this is me. Uh, yeah, it doesn't, <laughs> I, I, I don't care if you like it or not. This is what I do. So it's not that you're preparing the way that you do it, but then the result of that is people say that your, your level is so much higher than what they see that they end up giving you a role that was for a man and it's the lead role. So it's crazy. It's, I mean, it's crazy. And I don't want to say it's crazy. It's obvious to me that when you're so alive, when you're so free, People want to work with you and they don't care if you match the role. They'll give you something else. It's obvious. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And I realize it happens a lot uh, with uh, other casting I did after the reset and the work we did, we did together. Um, sometimes the, the casting, they didn't tell me, like, they didn't give me a role or whatever. But I remember also another, another filmmaker told me like, wow, like, you know, the role, it was like so... Mm. So something else you take too much and <laughs> so much places i want to I, I want to follow your work um and i don't know maybe i'm i will work with him or never but the thing is like okay so maybe one day you're gonna call me back so yeah. and i think the really um uh casting i'm very happy um when it happens on this way and i'm just like okay i do a casting today and it's fine, okay. I, I don't wait for the answer. Of course, uh, we still like um, sad when you don't get it or you don't have an answer or whatever. Because it's not essential because now what matters is that you're doing you. And when you're doing you, you're fulfilled. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's incredible. Well, that's really nice. Is there anything that you want to share about your experience doing this work? Yeah. Um, I feel like it was it because we yes <laughs> I continue the work and I think it's very um, it's not only about acting it's it's a way of life and I really love it I think it's um, it's a very very nice and happy um, way to see life and to connect connecting with you and you're truthful and um i would say connecting with your heart and your soul soul yeah and um and i think it's and i think it's like kind of yeah freedom to be an actor but more than that um an artist yeah. um, and i think it's kind of really incredible and I will be, huh, I would, j'aurais aimé, <laughs> sorry. Like. Uh, I would love to, yeah, to, to know this before um, mm -hmm. because I because I had uh, some, when I was more younger, I had a lot of um, big, huge casting and I was like, okay, if I, if I had this uh, yeah. access to me and this freedom that I'm still building uh, right now, I think I would be like, yeah, 
different approach and different um, kind of um, life. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's never but you're too late. Still very young. You're still very young, so you're gonna yeah. enjoy some of yeah, it. Yeah, but <laughs> but oh, you know, it's like uh, yeah, when you discover something is working, or you feeling so happy and um, and grateful for that, you want to share that with everybody, and mm -hmm. you want to you want to you want to people just um, experience the same thing yeah. like you, yeah. uh, because we're like, wow, it's so amazing. I want to give you all, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I know that feeling because that's what I do all day long. Yeah. like, I want you guys to know how incredible you are because it's not a thing at the end of the day. I'm not teaching you anything. I'm just facilitating you back into yourself. Um, and, and yourself is always the best thing you have. It can't be a method. It can't be a technique. It's art. So it's much, much more interesting than a method. Yeah. So that's great. Thank you for sharing your story, Johanna. That's really nice. Very, very interesting, very inspiring. Um, I hope that if anyone missed the beginning that they hear this now that Johanna was given the lead role for a man because they liked her so much that they just replaced the role for her. And that's really incredible. Um, so, well, thank you. I'll see you soon. Thank you for having me. And um, yeah, I just want to share with anyone who's watching this and who's resonating and who's wanting to act from a place of truth and authenticity and freedom that you can send us your questions, send us a DM and the team will definitely get back to you and we'll send you some information about our work. Yeah. Great. I wish you all the best. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You too. Let me end this. Um, oh, Janan was in there. Hi, Janan. Mm -hmm. um, she was confirming that the instinctive way of living was the best mm -hmm. way to live. Okay. Let me stop this.